Howdy, Possum Patty here with a little preview of my next junk journal project. Because it's the Chinese Lunar New Year, it's the year of the metal ox, I decided to make a little Chinese themed junk journal glue book. And I may be adding some Japanese things to it or other Asian countries. So this will be in honor of China, maybe Japan, or maybe some other countries from Asia. The first thing I thought about was what paper to use. And I think I'm going to be using a 12 by 12 sheets. And I had bought this paper for my boho journal. And some of it I think will work well with an Asian themed journal also. So I'm going to use some pages from the storyteller. And I picked out this purple medallion one. And I have this one reminds me of like a cherry blossom. And the pink and gold. I think these motifs will work fine in an Asian journal. And then I have just these uh, ivory colored 12 by 12s. Now I'm going to fold them the long way and make a long tall journal, sort of like a little oversized travel style journal. And I'm going to use the cardboard from the back of the pad of paper to sort of support the cover. And I'm going to put some Tyvek where the spine is going to be to reinforce that. And I just cut a piece of batting to put on the outside to make it a little soft. And I was thinking about this material. And this is a pair of pants I got at the thrift store, but I bought them because I really love this material. And it's a floral pattern. It looks like some peonies and some little cranes. And this looks like uh, cherry blossoms. So this may be a Japanese pattern, but I think it's kind of pretty. So I'm going to use this probably on the outside of the cover. And then I'm going through my stuff in the, my magic basement. I always can go down the basement, find something, rummage through the boxes. And when I was teaching elementary school, I happen to have a lot of Chinese and Japanese students who gifted me several things. And this is Promotion Department of the National Tourism Administration of the People's Republic of China. So I've got some brochures here on different regions of China. And I thought I could cut these up and use these pictures in my glue book. And on the inside there's some maps and things, some information. Get this open. These are really big to fit under the camera, but this is a mountain region. So it'll be fun to use these images. And I've got several of those, Beijing. And this is the packaging from a little Good Luck Kitty solar dancer that I bought, but I like the uh, cherry blossom pattern on the box. My sister gave me these. She had a Chinese themed New Year's party one year, and I glommed these up off of her. I love the little fish here. And red and gold, uh, red is good luck color in China. So I might be using some of this red and gold material here in the journal. And then this is just an advertisement for some uh, Chinese dance group. And I have several sheets of these Chinese brush drawings that a friend of mine did. She is uh, Chinese and Korean. There's some cranes and some pine trees. And these were her practice papers. And I've got some more 
just little, whoops. These papers that she was practicing on. So, little praying mantis in green, that's pretty. So I might just be cutting up some of these images and using these. And then one of the students gave me this North American edition of China Reconstructs. Hmm. Again, lots of images. Cut out and use. Olympics. And let's see what else do I have. Oh, some little. I use oh, some more brochures from China. So I got lots of images, just a little Chinese kite. More of that dance troupe. I got a lot more these Chinese brush practice papers. So there's probably something in here I can use on a page. There's some birds. And then I have some Japanese things. Isn't that pretty? It's a card. And I have some, this is Japanese drummers, Yamato. Some cool images in here from Japan. This is why I might do Japanese too. And I've got these workbooks and I'm pretty sure a student gave me these that these are Japanese workbooks. Yeah, it looks like Mount Fuji there. And I have some more of these workbooks. Got lots of papers. Isn't this cute? This is so cute. And then I have some Chinese brushwork that I did. So I can cut these up. These are just practice papers. Put those in there. And I have this poster from the U.S. Census in 1990. And it's honoring Asian Americans and it ha has all different motifs. I think the tiger might be Vietnamese and I'm not sure about these. The panda is probably Chinese and the crane is probably Japanese but I'm going to have to look up these other ones because there's a few more on here. I think one is Cambodia and one is Laos and one is Thailand. And let's see, I have, I don't know what's this, some more junk, the Art of Japan and Degas. So there's some prints in here. Okay, well, this is very large. And this was at the Reading Public Museum in Pennsylvania. And I have, couple letters and these are from Japanese students from many 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 years ago isn't that pretty and then at the Dollar Tree they had these fans and look at this lovely material here I think this would work in both the boho and the Asian journal so I think the material comes off kind of easily maybe yeah just kind of pull these plastic ribs off I'll have some really pretty material and I got one in red and then the other thing was, I thought these might work well on a page. These are from the Dollar Tree, the Crafter Square. 
And I got gold to go with that fan. And I got blue to go with this fan. So I have a pile of stuff here. And I believe I probably have some more downstairs. Just some paintings I did. So I'm going to start with what I have here and then go do some more digging in the basement and see what else I can come up with. So this is going to be a new adventure. It's going to be a lot of fun, junk journaling, and probably turn into kind of a glue book. I'll just fill it up with all these images and some of these cards I got from my Chinese and Japanese students. I'll put those in there. And so that's it. So thanks for coming along, everyone, and happy junk journaling. Bye-bye now.